Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for a better record. If it's better board you're after, Candlehurst Hall's got both. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Until next time. Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you, but it'll cost you. The divine smile on a charitable soul. Now I remember. You're that new member of the Companions. So, you what? Fetch the mead? My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. Algrith won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll... We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? Do you think I need to send Volgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet, Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then? 
soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. I. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Yorleaf, I want you to send a messenger to our western camps. And the message, sir? I'm diverting Gar and Hadring's men to join him. Is that wise, sir? It will work if we can pull Haran's men from the south and find a bit of luck. Of course. Something that seems to be in short supply these days. I'm not seeking advice right now, friend. Just send a message. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Hmm, Helgen, eh? Ulfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Yeah, but first, tell me, why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Fair enough, but are you willing to die for your home? Uh, can't fault anyone for that. As long as you hate the Empire as much as I do, that I can work with. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. 
You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. Is that fur coming out of your ears?
Wait to get lost. You can't hide from him. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. These horses chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn the moot! We should risk letting those milk drinkers put Torek's women on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. A crown doesn't make a king. No, but this one. If it even exists. It exists, and it will be the symbol of the righteousness of our cause. Think about it. The jagged crown. It heralds back to a time before Jarls and Moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people rose because they loved him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Ulfric. You must be. 
You're certain you found it? When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown? It will be there. You'll see. You're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A hero of the people. A true son of Skyrim. A Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvantrum. But if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Don't wait around for me. 